if you're standing a little bit weird, right, and holding the gun a little bit weird, but it's safe, consistent, and repeatable for you, we're not going to change that. All right? The days of you're going to do it this way because I told you to do it that way are over. I want to start off with a good, solid, primary grip. If I just have a half-ass grip here and I go to grab my pistol, does this set me up for success or failure? And I feel the pistol grip and then I drive deep. If I have a little bit of forward tension on the front of that muzzle, meaning I'm starting to drop my elbow with a little forward tension, watch where the gun wants to go inherently. Ready? Here we go. Access, withdraw. You can see it's already starting to point itself where it needs to go. Right, so. so the way we typically go over drawing from the holes for the Six Hour Academy is to break it into a three-step process. We've got access, which is me accessing the pistol, I'm establishing my good solid grip here with a touch point. So my touch point goes about my fingers touching the grip. I'm sliding into home and establishing my good solid grip. I don't want to have to re-grip after I draw. So I'm waiting until I have a good solid grip. Uh, we have uh, the opportunity of teaching uh, people at this academy from very, very advanced levels to also very, uh, you know, beginner levels, right? The, for like, for instance, today's class, people have never drawn a gun from a holster before. I like to not only have a touch point with this hand, my dominant hand, I also like to have a touch point with this hand, right? Both hands move at once, right? This hand's going for the gun and this hand is getting staged to receive the gun. As I start presenting to the target, I come up and I chop right here. So that little 90 degree mark in between my trigger guard and my hands, I come in with this hand, kind of like a little blade and I chop in and that's gonna be consistent each and every time. Now I rotate that hand into a, a good grip and I'm there. The dangerous part typically is, believe it or not, the reholstering. We tend to see more scary stuff when reholstering because people tend to, like to see in the movies, back to that holster super fast, right? How fast should we be reholstering? The answer is not fast. The answer is I should not be reholstering fast at all. Last one, last one, make this one good. Make sure you're putting those air brakes on toward the end of the presentation, right? If we see a light start to turn yellow in the distance and we know what's gonna go red, we don't just go and then lock up the brakes, right? We start feathering that brake. So as you draw, watch, I'll bleed off the energy. Ready, eyes, ears? I come up, access, we draw, drive, I bleed off the energy. Instead of doing this, locking up those brakes, my sights dive out of my uh, sight picture and then I have to regain those sights. We want them to take it slow in our basic level classes. So we'll have them check finger, check status, check holster before they go back and to make sure, just to kind of reinsurance that things are safe and they're going back to the holster, not fast, but smoothly and safely. Good, nice job, Scott. Very good. Sean, nice work, buddy. Access with draw, drive. I get on my sights. I do what I have to do with the gun. I then take my finger off the trigger. I check my finger. I check my status. I check my holster. And then I just put the gun away.